And now, another tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense. How often have you felt that you'd like to get away from it all? Just drop everything, move far away, start a new life. Maybe even with a new identity. Well, it isn't as easy as it sounds, as the story you're about to hear demonstrates. So before you buy a one-way ticket to elsewhere, listen to Night on Red Mountain, which begins in just a moment. When news makes news, that's news. As several trade publications in the broadcasting field have recently announced, a week from tomorrow, CBS News on the hour goes to twice its current length each weekday. Beginning Monday the 28th, you'll hear a first in network broadcasting history, the initiation of dramatically expanded coverage by award-winning CBS News. Full 10-minute coverage every hour on the hour. That's the date, November 28th, when CBS News goes double for you at this address on your dial. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't hear you drive in. I can't hear much of anything when the wind starts blowing. Fill her up. Yes, sir. Better check the oil and water, too. Any hot coffee inside? Yeah, hot and black. That's for me. Must be close to zero. Oh, not that bad. Down around 20. It'll drop tonight, though. Radio says we might get a blizzard. And they call this sunny California. Well, we're more than 5,000 feet here. 6,500 at the top of the pass up the road a piece. Yeah, I know. I just come off it. Were you heading north? Yeah, Vegas. How far is it from here? Oh, uh, about 260 from Victorville, and Victorville's 32 from here. What's the matter? You lost? What makes you think so? Well, uh, U.S. 66 is a direct route. Not many cars come across Red Mountain in the winter. Hey, uh... Yeah? Ain't I seen you someplace before? Well, not unless you've been through here before. I ain't never. Not back east someplace? You come from back east? No, I've never been. I, uh, come from up north. Eureka. Funny, take that mustache off. You'd be a ringer for a kid I used to know once back in Jersey City. Joey Perino. Funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, lookalikes. <laughs> you run into them sometime. Sure you was never back east? Sure. Funny, without that mustache, I'd swear. You'd be mistaken. Yeah? Well, where'd I find the coffee? Oh, uh, right inside. Sally will take care of you. Yeah. You better check the battery and the tires, too. Yeah, sure thing. Good evening. Give me a cup of black coffee. Yes, sir. The State Highway Patrol has asked us to make this announcement. Chains will be required on all cars in the mountain regions. Tonight's storm is expected to bring at least six inches of snow down to the 3,000-foot level. Sounds like you might be snowed in. Oh, it won't be the first time. It might be dangerous, considering your condition. Oh, no. I'm not expecting until April. We never get any snow that late. Not even when the weather's unusual, like they say out here? Well, it's never that unusual. You better get Walt to put on your chains. Ain't got any. Oh? Well, then watch your step going down that hill. Particularly Mule Shoe Curve. It's bad in snow like this. I'll remember that. Is he your husband? Who? Fella gassing me up to this Walt. Oh, yeah. You two all alone up here? No, there's my dad. And he'd better get a move on or he won't get back up that mountain tonight. Where is he? Oh, he went down to Victorville this afternoon for supplies. Oh, you born around here? No, up north. Eureka? Well, yeah, how'd you guess? Your husband said that's where he come from. He did? Yeah. Doesn't he? Well, he said he did, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, uh, did you ever hear of a guy named uh, Joey Perino? No. Why, should I? Your husband looks like him. Well, what if he does? 
Oh, nothing. You ever been back east? Never been outside the state. Gee, you ask more questions than a cop. Oh, don't worry. I ain't no cop. Ah, oh, she's all set to roll. How much I owe you? Uh, 12 gallons. That'll be uh, 3 dollars Plus the coffee. Compliments of the management. Huh? It's a policy of the establishment. Free coffee during blizzard. <laughs> Isn't it, Sally? Yeah, sure. Hey, uh, four bucks. Bye. Uh, get your change. Don't bother. Three ninety-five for the gas. Five cents for the coffee. I got a policy, too. I, I don't take handouts. Oh, look now. What I don't want to be owing anybody anything, sister. Particularly rats. Be seeing you, Joey. Joey? What do you mean, Walt? Calling you Joey. In just a moment, we will return for the second act of Suspense. Tell me what he meant calling you Joey. Oh, the guy's nuts. He asked an awful lot of questions. What kind of question? Mm, about me, about you. He he said you told him you come from Eureka. Why did you tell him that, Walt? Oh, look, honey, the guy's nuts. I never told him I came from Eureka. You never told me where you came from either, Walt. You just said you came from back east. Well, what difference does it make? We didn't then, when we first met. Well, it doesn't now, if if you tell me it doesn't. I tell you, it doesn't, honey. Okay, Walt, I'm sorry. You better get to bed, honey. It's going to be a long, cold night, huh? All right. You coming? Oh, in a little while. Won't be much more business in this storm. <laughs> Yeah. Mr. Pirelli? Yeah? I have a long-distance call for you from Victorville, California. Who's calling? Mr. Batilia. All right, operator, put him on. Go ahead, sir. Hello, Vic Pete? Yeah, Bat, what are you doing down in Victorville? We were supposed to be here in Vegas by dinner time. Yeah, 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 I know, but sort of got lost in the mountains. Now, that figures. I know you to get lost in Jersey City. Yeah, but wait till you hear what I found. Gold mine, I suppose, eh? no. Joey Perino. You're kidding. Where? In the gas station back in the hills. You sure it's Joey? Positive. He's got a mustache, he's got a wife, and he calls himself Walt something or other. But it's Joey, all right. Did he recognize you? Sure he did, but he didn't let on. Thought I'd better tell you. Ah, uh, wait a minute. If he recognized you, he'll take it on a lamb. Not a chance. He's up here all alone with his wife. She's in a family way, and it's blowing up a blizzard. He wouldn't risk getting her out in this kind of weather. Where are you? The joint called a white spot. All right, sit tight. I'll be there in a couple of hours. Well, how are you going to do that? Charter a plane. But boss, I'll be glad to handle him for you. I'm sure you would, Bat, but this one I want to take care of myself in my own way. If you get what I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. I'll wait for you here. What's the name of this place he's at? Uh, Walt Summit Service. Why? Thought I might give him a ring before I leave. Tip him off? No. Offer him another chance. Are you kidding? What do you think? Walt Summit Service, good evening. Hello, Joey. You must have the wrong number. This is Walt Summit Service. Ah, Joey, I got the right number. This is Big Pete. Remember me? There's some mistake. There's no mistake, Joey. That just told me he was by your joint a little while ago. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. This is Walt Summit Service. All right, Joey, if you want it that way, it's Walt Summit Service and you're Walt. But back in Jersey City, you're still Joe Perini to the boys. And Joey, the boys miss you. All of them. Me in particular. 
I miss you so much, Joey, I feel I just got to talk to you. I'm sorry, you had the wrong number. Walt? Yeah, yeah, honey. Who is that? I look, you're supposed to be asleep. I was just dozing off and the phone woke me. Who was it, Walt? Oh, somebody had a wrong number. Well, it took you long enough to tell him. The guy was drunk or something. Oh. Go to sleep, honey. Well, aren't you coming? I, uh, I don't feel very sleepy. I sit up a while, wait for your dad. Well, all right, but don't make it too late. You know, I, I get lonely in here without you. I know, darling. Go to sleep now. Warnings are flying from Point Concepcion to Point Dumas. All planes are grounded at Los Angeles International Airport. The Weather Bureau predicts that close upon the heels of the present storm is another developing off the coast of Northern California. This is an undisguised blessing for the farmer in the San Joaquin Valley and the growers in Orange County. Walt Summit Service. Hello, Joey. Wrong number. You shouldn't hang up on Big P, Joey. Wrong number. Now listen to me, Joey, and listen good. I want to talk to you. You got the wrong number. Okay, Joey. Now you just listen to me, boy. You know what joint in Victorville called the white spot? Yeah, I know it. Good. I'm at the airport in Vegas. I'm taking off from here in five minutes. You take off in five minutes, too, Joey. Now, look here, now, Don't I... hang up on me, Joey. Just listen. It'll take you about the same time to get down off that mountain as it'll take me to fly to Victorville. Meet me in the white spot. That's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore. You'll take this one or I'll come up there and shove it down your throat. Oh, come on. Come on. A highway patrol car just pulled up outside. Who are you kidding? Joey, you think you can scare me off of them two-bit cops? Look, I'm not trying to kid you, Pete. Well, that's my boy, Joey. You finally recognize your old boss, huh? Now, you ain't gonna squeal to them orange pickers, are you, Joey? I'm not a squealer, Pete. Ain't you? No. How do I know? Look, I'm telling you. So how come you took a part around me two years ago, huh? How come? How come you just blew? I want it out. Hey, Wall, are you in there? Yeah, 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 I'll be right there. Who are you talking to? A highway patrol. I told you. You gonna tell him why you walked out on old Pete? Now, look, I don't tell nothing to nobody. I just want to be left alone. I want it out. I got it out. You ain't out yet, kid. Nobody ever quits on me. Hey, look. Leave me alone, will you, Pete? Sure, so I worked for you. I drove for you. I don't know nothing. I ain't talking. You sure ain't. I gotta go now. Just let me alone, Pete. For the love of heaven, let me alone. Walt, there's someone at the door. I know it. Who are you talking to now? It's my wife. Look, get rid of the cops, Joey. Tell your wife to go to bed. You got the wrong number. Meet me in two hours at the white spot in Victorville. You got it? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I got the number you're calling, but uh, this now isn't You better it. be there, Joey. Or I'm coming up the hill for you. In a moment, we will return for the third act of Suspense. Good evening, Mrs. Parsons. I'm sorry I disturbed you, ma'am. Oh, that's all right, Sergeant Tui. Come in. Come on. Thank what, you. What was on the phone? Yeah, Sergeant, some uh, some uh, crackpot got a wrong number and can't get it out of his drunken head, you know? Well, I just stopped by to see if you folks were all right. Oh, yeah, sure. Snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> Say, would you have a cup of coffee? Why, yes, yes, thanks, Mrs. Parsons. I... Guess maybe I'd drop by for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's always some on the stove. Well, uh, how's the weather outside, huh? Eh? Ain't a fit night for man or motor car. <laughs> <laughs> 
pass is closed, and we won't be able to get plows through from the other side of the mountain until, ooh, tomorrow forenoon. Well, that's uh, what you can expect in February. Oh, there you are, Sergeant. Sugar, cream, and hot, I hope. Well, that's wonderful, wonderful, Mrs. Parsons. Thank you. Uh, say, uh, Sally, uh, Yes, darling? Like Sergeant says, you know, it ain't a fit night out for a man or motor car. Yeah? Well, I thought we might, uh, put him up for the night. Huh? Why, of course. Oh, we... no, no, no. I, I wouldn't want to inconvenience you. Oh, but it wouldn't be oh, any inconvenience. no, 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 not at all. No inconvenience at all. We'd sure like to have you stay. <laughs> That's right, nice of you, believe me, but... I've got to get on down the road. Oh, but it's after 10 now, and you're off duty. And... No, no. In a storm like this, nobody's off duty. Well, thanks for the coffee, Mrs. Parsons. You're welcome. Uh, uh, say, I, I, I got something to thank you for, Walt. Oh, uh-huh. well, what's that? The only laugh I had this evening. I'd like to hear it. What's the laugh, Sarge? Well, that car out front. Huh? What, what car? Uh, a couple of hours ago, when I was going up to the pass, uh, that uh, two-tone job, standing out front with the big tail fins. What about it? Gold and white, covered with mud and the snow piling up on it. <laughs> it sort of reminded me like a like a bathing beauty on a ski slope. Cars like that weren't designed for this kind of country. <laughs> no. No, I guess they weren't. Yeah. Well, good night, folks, and... Thanks again for the coffee. Oh, you're you're welcome. Good night, Sergeant. Oh, um, I'll get it, dear. No, no, I, I will. Walt, summit service. You ain't left yet, Joey. Get going. You got the wrong number. Again? Yeah, yeah, again. Darling, what is it? What is this screwball? Well, what's he want? Oh, who knows? He's drunk. Let's go to bed, huh? Oh, I'm I'm not very sleepy. I know what. Let let's sit up and wait for Dad. Oh, he won't make it now. Well, he might. Well, let's go to bed. I said. Uh, all right, honey. Well, go to bed. Well, go then. I I gotta lock up, huh? All right. Walt. What? Well, what's the matter? Nothing. 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 Nothing's the matter. I gotta look up. That's all. Get to bed. Stop asking a lot of stupid questions, will you? That will be 20 cents for three minutes. All right, here you are, sister. Go ahead, sir. Yes, Pete? Well, how'd you guess it'd be me, Joey? I ain't kidding, Joey. I'm disappointed. Real disappointed. I fly all the way down here to Victorville just to talk to you, and what happens? You ain't got the courtesy to come down the hill to see an old pal. How come you ain't here, Joey? I'm not coming, Pete. You ain't, huh? No. Well, then I guess I have to come up there. Nobody's asking you. Now, Joey, that ain't no way to talk. I'll lay off, will you, Pete? I done nothing to you. You walked out on me, Joey. Nobody walks out on Big Pete. I'll see you in an hour. And Joey... Yeah? Don't try taking no powder. Fella at the bar just told me that the pass is closed. The only way out's down the hill. I know it. You want to change your mind and come on down, Joey? 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 Were you flashing, sir? Yeah, I was cut off. Well, just a moment. I'll try to connect you. I'm sorry, sir. There seems to be trouble on that line. Probably the storm. Okay, sister. Thanks. Coming? No. But it couldn't be better. The line just went out in the storm. And the pass is blocked. But it's sweet setup. Ain't it? Let's go. A pleasure. In a moment, we'll return for the concluding act of suspense. Okay. That you, honey? 
Yeah. Come to bed, darling. I can't. Where are you going? Well, what are you putting on your coat for? I gotta go down the hill. Oh, Walt, what's the matter? I'm worried. About your dad. I'm gonna look for him. Now you know he's probably staying in town at the Rances. If if you're worried, telephone them. I tried. The line's out. I gotta go down the hill. But, Walt, you can't leave me here alone. I got it, honey. I got it. But, but, I, I'm afraid. Look, there's nothing to be scared of. You'll be safe here. Your gun. Why are you taking your gun? Feel better with a gun. Walt, you're keeping something from me. You gotta tell me. There's nothing to tell, honey. Get back in bed, honey, please. If you promise not to go out. I can't. I gotta go, and I gotta go alone. Well, then it isn't Dad. It's something else. Now, look, honey, don't make me... Hey! How come the place all lit up like Christmas tree? <laughs> can't be that much business tonight. Oh, Dad, thank goodness you're here. This silly husband of mine was just going out to look for you. He was afraid you'd skid it into the canyon or something. <laughs> An old mountain man like me? <laughs> Fiddlesticks. Uh, I'm glad you dressed the wall. I, I promised Sergeant Tuey I'd send you down the road with the tow truck and give him a hand. Accident? Yeah, yeah. Some darn fool was driving without chains. Went through the guardrail on Mule Shoe Curve. Yeah, one of these fancy new two-tone jobs with airplane fins. Gold and white? Hardtop convertible? Uh, to it didn't specify, but he recognized the driver. Big shot gangster from back east, he said. Name of uh, Big Pete Pirelli. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was it. Uh, didn't know the other fella. Were they, uh, hurt? Hurt? <laughs> They're both as dead as last week's hamburgers. Okay. Okay, I... I'll get going. I guess, uh... I guess I won't need this gun after all. I'll, uh, I'll be back in a little while, Sally. All right, honey. See that she gets to bed, will you, Dad? Sure, sure, son. She, uh... She hasn't had much sleep tonight. Don't worry, darling. I'll sleep now. Good. You know something. What? I love you very much. Suspense. You've been listening to Night on Red Mountain, written for suspense by William N. Robeson. In a moment, the names of our players and a word about next week's story of suspense. Heard in tonight's story were Lawson Zerby as Walt, Jim Bowles as Bat, Mandel Kramer as Pete, Ellen McRae as Sally, Bob Dryden as Sarge, Ruth Tobin as the operator, and Bill Adams as Dad. Listen again next week when we return with Home is Where You Find It, written for suspense by Edna Ray. Another tale well calculated to keep you in suspense.